Hi guys, we're back with another video. Today we went to Rusty's Market here in Cairns and we picked up some more local uh, tropical delights. Some of them commonly found and known and others quite rare and even unknown. This one here would be a challenge to identify and so might some of these other ones for um, the average person. We also scored some fresh jackfruit which was cool. We can get um, most of these fruits even in Melbourne but at double and triple the price. So it's nice to go as close as possible to the um, source to get a good deal and also avoid the transportation around the um, other side of the country. So we're going to be doing um, a taste test together. So what do we have? We have uh, mango, which you already know the taste. But this one here, you don't know the taste. This is um, very rare um, in the western part of the world. It's sour sop, and I think this one is ready. You're meant to let these guys get really ripe. I hope it's not too ripe because I had one yesterday and it was fine. Then we have the um, chocolate pudding fruit, also known as black sapote, and these look pretty ripe. Made sure they were ready at the market. And then we have um, mame sapote, which I'm looking forward to. And the way to tell if it's ready is by scratching. Hang on. Uh, scratch it. Scratch, scratch. Okay, there you go. There's the giveaway. And then with some more mangoes. And then you got sapodilla, which almost looks like a mame, but it's smaller. And this one, well, you can feel it's soft. You don't even need to scratch it, really. Yeah, there you go. Different color. Very. These are very exotic, these three. Uh, black sapote, sapodilla, and um, uh, mame. And then we have... Let me get a soft one. This one. This one here, I've never had a green one. I've only had a purple one. This is a caimito or um, star apple. So I'm very excited to try this again. I haven't had one of these. Wow, um, probably three years. And I've never had the green one. Only the purple. Then we have this guy. They only had one left. This guy is in my top. Um, well, actually, a lot of these are in my top 10. This might be in my top 3. That's how good this is. Um, this is called Abiu. A-B-I-U. I hope it's fully ripe because it's green on one side. That's not good. And hard. Whereas over here, it's very soft. So we'll see how we do with the Abiu. And lastly, we have this... Um, Madrono, they call it up here. It's a kind of lemon drop mangosteen. They also call it baby mangosteen because I take it, it's the smaller um, sized one. There's like two of these, a smaller one and a bigger one. So we'll see what they're like as well. And finally, the jackfruit. We got jackfruit from two ladies at the market. You can see the difference in color. One is yellow and one is more orange, right? So we'll see how that tastes as well. I could have done a video on each one of these, but we're going to keep it um, quick and easy. So we're going to start with the um, star apple, camito. Let's cut that up. So this is what it looks like. On the inside it's sort of um, gelatinous jelly like and 
when you squeeze it, I can tell these ones aren't 100% ripe because they're meant to ooze some kind of latex. Well, the purple one does anyway. Evidently, this green one doesn't have that latex. So I'm not familiar with the green one, but the purple one definitely oozes latex. Okay, let's have a taste of this. Looks good, huh? Mm. Okay, I got the seeds out. Mm. Hmm, different to what I expected. Definitely not the same as the um, the purple star apple in taste. Much more uh, much more um, what would the word be? Not as strong taste. Hmm. Mild. More mild. Mm. Yeah. Not not very sweet. Very mild. It almost tastes like um, jelly mixed with milk without the milk flavor. Mm. Milk and jelly without that dairy taste. Next we're going to have the <coughs> Sapodilla, also known as Chiku around the world. It's got many different names, depends where you are. So, it's small, like a little egg, but they vary in size, some of them are bigger. Alright, I'm looking forward to this one. Wow, look at the color in this. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at nature. This is how I fell in love with these fruits around um, 10 years ago when I first came up here to tropical um, far north Queensland. Look at that when you get close. Oops. You never get to see this in a supermarket. You never get to hear about this from your grandfather or grandmother it's a real shame look at the beauty you don't even have to taste it just looking at it to me anyway to me it's like beautiful artwork you know how um, nature has all the beautiful colors and shapes to me these look like they're uh, at such a high level or high um, yeah I just a much higher level of um, beauty and um, I don't know just just awesome and then th there's the flavor right let's taste it let's taste this one mm, mm. this is exactly how I remember it <laughs> hasn't changed the star apple was different but this is the same same as the first one I had. Very consistent over all these years. Mm. It tastes like um, um, caramel. Caramelized brown sugar in a, in a fruit, right? Just imagine caramelizing brown sugar into a fruit, into this beautiful fruit. Next, we move to the slightly larger um, Mame Sapodi. These usually get much bigger. So these are slightly smaller. Let's cut this one up. All right. This is the Mame Sapodi. Look at that. 
Can you believe it? How the colors are changing from fruit to fruit, starting with that, then that, then this. Huh? Isn't that something? Okay, let's try this. I remember the taste of this. It tasted like um, um, sweet pumpkin. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato mixed with sweet. Oh, wow, this is really sweet. Very sweet. It's like sweet potato mixed with sweet pumpkin dipped into uh, honey. Yeah, sweet potato dipped into honey. Can you even imagine a fruit like that? Mame sapoti. Mm. Wow. It's got a large seed which comes loose on its own. Even the seed is beautiful. Look at that. Right? Look at that seed. Looks like an extraterrestrial. Amazing. Next, guys, is the um, big boy here, known as uh, Black Sapoti. Look at this big boy. Hmm? Weighs uh, easily a kilo, maybe more, at least two and a half pounds. It's pretty big. I just cut it in half. Look at that. Looks like Vegemite, doesn't it? Australia's Vegemite or Marmite in the UK. Look at that. Mm. There's so much I can say about this fruit, but I want to keep the video short. I can talk about this fruit for 20 minutes and I'm not going to do that. By the way, this video is not um, an A to Z of each fruit. That would need two to three hours. If you want to know more, you have to go and um, look for the information. This is just to show you what the fruit is like on a um, quick note and it's also to show you what's available in tropical Australia and subtropical Australia. You can grow all this in Australia, in the tropics and, and also in the subtropics. And with a lot of patience and persistence um, in a temperate climate, which is where I'm um, based. So out of all these fruits, the one that would give me the biggest challenge would be the... Um, this one, of course, the sour sop. Number one challenge. We've talked about that in previous videos. And number two would be this one, my mesa podi. And thirdly, <coughs> the abu. They're the three challenges I have. These three um, fruits. Those three. One, two, three. The, and the mango is not easy, but doable. It's doable, but not easy. Oh, I forgot the jackfruit. <laughs> yeah, this one is a real challenge. I don't know anyone in Melbourne who's ever grown jackfruit to fruiting stage. Not one person. All right, let's move on. But I have grown black sapoti and it's fruited. Last year I had um, success with just one fruit, half the size of this. This is huge. Let's try it. Okay. So, it's like, um, the, the, the texture is like mousse. You know chocolate mousse? So let's try that. 
Mm. And sometimes you'll get a little um, of the um, um, what's it called the the core, which I don't like. Looks like a placenta. <laughs> it resembles a placenta, but um, <clears throat> it's just part of the fruit, which is not very pleasant. But this part here is mm, like chocolate mousse, guys. It doesn't taste anything like chocolate, but it has the consistency of chocolate mousse. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Again. That um, unsavory um, jello like core, which is not to my liking. But uh, the flesh on its own, oh yeah. Mm. It's hard to describe the taste. Wow. Chocolate mousse without chocolate flavor. Um, the sweetness is at a level of four. Not very sweet. Not as sweet as these guys. Um, the star apple sweetness would be about five. My mesa podi would be um, seven. The sapodilla would be eight, close to a nine, very sweet. So five, seven, nine. This one would be three, at a three. So very low sugar. But um, the I would use this for um, smoothies, which means you have to add some kind of sweetener in there, like a date, to sweeten it up, unless you prefer it unsweetened in whatever you wish to combine it with. So that's the um, black sapoti, chocolate pudding fruit. Next, I try the Abiyu. Probably my favorite out of all these. Well, the mango is my favorite. Nothing beats mango here. This would be my second favorite, the Abiyu. Then would be the jackfruit. And then um, probably the star apple. So let's cut this up. Alrighty. That's the middle of it with a big seed. There you go. The seed sits in there. That's from the uh, chocolate pudding fruit. All these little brown. The knife didn't clean it. So let's try out the Abiyu. Okay. Mm. Definitely ripe. Even though it was green and hard on one side, it's 100% um, ripe. It's lacking the... Um, a flavor though that I last remember it having like uh, five years ago six years ago it's been a while it's lacking the sweetness yeah not as sweet everything else is there the flavor minus the um, the sugar Level of sugar would be five. I remember it being around seven or eight, much higher. But the flavor is good. The flavor is uh, about an eight out of 10. There's that um, pulp or um, placenta core in the middle that we had on the um, black sapoti, that part there, which is um, 
not very pleasant. Mmm. Good. Good, but not the best. All right, guys. Next is this big guy. This is um, sour sop. Graviola in Brazil. Guanabana in the rest of the Spanish-speaking world. And uh, Sirsak in Bahasa. So let's cut this up. I hope it's a good one. Okay, it looks like it's um, possibly a little overripe. Not sure. It's starting to um, go off here on the sides. So you don't know until you taste it, right? All right, let's have a taste. Okay, I took the seeds out of this. Let's try it. Mm hmm. Mm. It's good. It's better than the one I had yesterday. I'll let this one ripen longer. Mm. It's a bit hard to film this without a tripod. I didn't bring my tripod on on this trip, but uh, we're doing okay. Doesn't it look like fish, like fish um, flesh? If you didn't know this was a fruit, you'd think I was holding a, a piece of fish, which is pretty gross. Mm. Mm. A lot of seeds, like custard apple. Wow. Oops, one seed went flying on the floor. I better clear the mess, but this was good. This was a uh, sweetness was around seven. I don't know why it's gone brown in there. Must have been bruised during uh, handling. But um, this was a good um, sour sop. I like this one. Next are these madrono. So let's grab one. Mm. This is like um, a cha cha, but uh, more uh, cold hardy. So that's what it looks like inside. It's all seed actually. The only thing you eat is this white this white covering. The, the brown part underneath is this big big fat seed. So really it's um only five percent is edible, ninety-five percent is um compost. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Not a good value. Not a good value fruit if you had to pay for it. I did pay for this. And I'm, I'm basically getting 5% of what I paid for. I'll suck this and you'll see what's left. Mm. Two seeds. Mmm. Tastes good. It's um, sour. Sour and sweet together, dancing together. It goes sour, sweet, sour, sweet, sour, sweet in your mouth. Interesting. Very interesting flavor. It's a dance between the two opposites. I'll have another one. That was fun. So, that's the, um, the skin. That's the fruit. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
the dominant is the sour. It's 70% sour and 30% sweet. The sour wins. This is great for people that don't like sweet fruit. Absolute winner. Wow. And next, guys, we're going to get this large guy. The jackfruit. Nanga. So, well, let's grab these that are already on the outside. This has already been cut up for us. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm. No seed on that one. Wow. That was so delicious. That, that alone, was better <laughs> than all the other fruit I tried. Just, just this, one piece was better than all the fruit I tried. That's how amazing jackfruit is if you get a good one. You can get some real stinkers though and can put you off jackfruit for life. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a decent seed. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that's so good. This was a 10 out of 10, this fruit. This um, outer fruit that came from a different jackfruit. I haven't tried this one inside. Only the, uh, this other one. Okay. All right, let's go inside now and try this one. Oh, let me unwrap it. Okay, this is going to get messy. Because these have latex. Okay, where am I going to grab it from? Uh, right. I might need two hands. Yep, I'm going to need two hands. Wait. Okay, I pulled that sucker out. See the difference? Let me show you with the other one. So you can get jackfruit this color and you can get jackfruit that color. You can get jackfruit that's crunchy. You can get jackfruit that's soft. You can get jackfruit that's sweet and jackfruit that's not sweet. So don't ever, ever be put off by jackfruit if you get one rather than the other one because there's the other one and the other one and the other one. Okay. Always experiment with fruit. The first time I had black sapote, I was turned off. The first time I had sour sop, I was turned off. Um, the first time I had durian, I was turned off. So please, do not give up on fruit. If you're going to give up on anything, I want you to give up on meat. I want you to give up on dairy. And I want you to give up on fish. That's what I want you to give up. Okay? You don't give up on any of these guys. This is real food. This is real food. Human food. Okay? Not cannibal food. We're not cannibals. We're fruit eaters. Okay, back to the video. Let's try this out. Oh, wow. This is very crunchy. Mmm, very crunchy. Nothing like this one. This one is soft. Soft and slippery. Like oil. Like, like it's covered in oil. But sweet. Sweet oil. This one is dry and crunchy. Mmm. <sighs> Where's the seed? So guys, that's the jackfruit. That one there gets the win for me. It's um, 8 out of 10. And that one's uh, 6 out of 10. So the yellow one. The softer one, not the crunchy one. But I wouldn't mind growing either one. And lastly, guys, we're going to have a mango. A local ma mango, even though it's from Bowen. Well, I don't know if it's from Bowen, but it's called Bowen Mango. So I take it, um, it can be grown anywhere um, along Queensland's mango coast. Um, 
see how that is. I've already had like six of them already. We've got about a dozen and uh, there's a few left. So this is what the, the bow and mango looks inside. I'm just going to cut this up. Look how juicy and beautiful it looks. Again, a very beautiful looking fruit and very sweet. This is going to be the sweetest of all, even sweeter than a jackfruit. Mango is always at the top, guys. So, hmm, yeah. These are like nuggets of sugar. Well, no surprise. Wow, wow. Very sweet. Very good. I just love the, the juices from mango. Look at that. Huh? This is real fruit love. Can you see what I see? Are you, are you seeing what I'm seeing, guys? With these tropical fruits, huh? You're either seeing it or you're not seeing it. Primal instinct. Hmm. Is what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, and what I'm tasting. Which, which proves this food is designed for humans without any question or doubt. Try that with raw roadkill. All right, guys, the, um, the fruit taste, fruit tasting is over. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Well, I know I enjoyed it more than you. Sorry, I wish I could have um, had you here tasting. As you can see, there's a lot more. But... Uh, um, it was a, a pleasure to to share and um, I love to um, not only share but to prove how wonderful um, the fruit is from the tropics you can do this with cherries and apples and um, apricots but this is a, on another level it's like one, two, three levels up above apples and um, and um, pears. So, all right, guys. <clears throat> we'll catch you from um, back from Melbourne at Fruitopia when, we're, um, when we've landed back in uh, the land of um, temperate climate fruit. So um, don't forget to like and share and also subscribe if you haven't. And also don't forget to check out Real Life Adventures, my other channel where I shared a few videos from this trip to Cairns and uh, I hope you enjoy the videos over there too. See you later.